kind of like in the analysis paralysis stage. This is not my final stop. And when you look at things from that perspective or that lens, I think it's a whole lot easier for you to make it through the day. Okay, so I am on my way from work. I just got off and I realized I did not do my budget meeting video. However, I did do my budget. So I'm just gonna tweak it and I'm gonna make this part of my budget meeting video. Today was, today was all over the place. Um, but I do feel like I had a lot more patience today. I think, you know, I needed the weekend. But I was also optimistic. I feel like, I don't know, I read this book. I finished it a couple weeks ago, The Subtle Art of Not Giving an F. And I'm starting to see like, okay, not caring really does help you out. I'm not saying you don't just care about everything, but you don't care about things that don't matter. So, I, yeah. So I realized that and then after going to the holiday party that I went to, it was by um, one of my friends slash real estate agent and well actually she's a broker and she had a party to celebrate her company and it was just so inspirational that she know had this plan to have a real estate brokerage here in Houston and now I'm like okay well I really want to start working on my goals outside of work I've been I've been wanting to be an entrepreneur and I research 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 however I feel like I need to just start taking action as opposed to just researching I'm kind of like in the analysis paralysis stage so you know I feel like know and also like just sharing my ideas with some people I just feel like you know some have been negative from family members and friends and it doesn't feel really good to hear um, negative comments and that's hard to brush off even though you shouldn't pay attention to people with negative comments especially if they haven't done what you want to do but it's still like I can't say that it doesn't affect me at all. I think about, like, whenever I wanted to become a teacher, I have people say so many negative things. Um, no, you don't want to do that. That's not a good idea. You're not a people's person. You, you're what's wrong with education. I've heard all of that. And sometimes all of those things still replay in my head. And that was whenever I lived in San Marcos and I was in grad school, I was working at this brain injury facility and many of my coworkers said all these things. And maybe they were right. Maybe that point in my life, that's who I was. But I wanted to prove them wrong, but also prove myself wrong because I never always doubted my ability to be a teacher. Even whenever I, I started, even though I started working in education at 22, I didn't start off as a teacher. And the reason why I didn't want to teach is because I was just like, you know, I'm, I don't know, I may not be good at it. And everyone just makes you feel so fearful about it. So I don't even think it's that I'm not good at teaching anymore. I'm pretty confident in my ability to teach right now. <laughs> but there's some days, of course, where you have imposter syndrome. And that's part of teaching for many teachers. So, so I just feel, you know, really inspired so after doing the party and I was like it kind of makes me realize like even though I have work today this is not my final stop and when you look at things from that perspective or that lens I think it's a whole lot easier for you to make it through the day even when students could not understand problems or couldn't get answers I just was like okay keep practicing and I wasn't getting frustrated well kind of but <laughs> not visibly frustrated not to where you know i don't want to discourage kids from learning as well so it can be frustrating for students not to learn something but um it just takes patience but 
I feel like because I felt trapped for so many years as a teacher, once I did become a teacher, I do see that I've been, you know, like frustrated, disgruntled, but now that I see like, oh, I can do this, I just need to step out of my comfort zone, I need to network, and that's part of getting out of my comfort zone, and I need to just do instead of um, just researching, so that's where I'm at right now as far as life goes. Um, I'm reading this book by Max Lucado called, what is the book called? Fearless. <laughs> and that's one of the things on my vision board is um, to live life without fear. And that's something that I've struggled with, um, just going after things that I really want out of life. Even like, I feel like even my degree in psychology, I feel like I, in some ways I really did enjoy psychology. But I also felt like it was safe as well. I don't feel like I really challenged myself by studying psychology, unless I would have gotten my PhD. But I don't do that. Like that's why, you know, part of me regrets getting my degree in psychology. I wish I would have did like engineering or accounting, um, just anything else, <laughs> even law school. I don't know anything. But yeah. so that's where I'm at today. So, feeling hopeful and that's a good way to end the day. So, earlier I was on my way home from work and just kind of decompressing from the day, the work day, and reflecting on my day and how it went. Today, I'm going to be doing my budget meeting and I realized I didn't do it earlier so I'm gonna do it a little bit differently than I have been doing it in the past because it is vlogmas and I kind of want to keep that whole one-on-one -on -one camera time I feel like I feel that I don't know I'm kind of liking this because I feel like the vlogmas, there's like a different side of me that I can elaborate more on. As far as my personal life goes, I haven't really been doing much of that mostly. Well, of course my budget and my money. I comment on that all the time. <laughs> so my paycheck, and I do get paid this Wednesday, um, I estimated that it would be around $2,000 and I was right on the money. Um, so I'm excited about that. Excuse me. Now my upcoming goals, of course, is to save, save for my roof and also to have cash for traveling and even book a trip for January. And of course, Goliath's boarding, parking, etc. Um, so my bills that are this month are Disney Plus, Amazon Prime, Tidal, the internet, um, of course my mortgage and Xander, identity theft insurance. And this paycheck, I do get paid bi-weekly, so this paycheck is for December 8th through the 21st. So I do make sure that I do my budget every two weeks. This is something that I try to, um, whenever I talk about my budget and whenever I talk to you know friends about budgeting and family members about budgeting, I let them know that this is something that you should be doing over and over again. You should constantly be looking at your budget. Now, as far as if you get paid more consistently than I do, not bi-weekly, but if you get paid like twice a month or once a month or even four times a month, your bills typically fall on a set date and your paychecks fall on a set date. So it's a little more consistent. But being that I get paid bi-weekly, I have to do this for each paycheck to make sure that I stay on top of everything. And back to the budget. For gas, I budgeted $120 for two weeks. I usually budget $100, but gas prices have been ridiculous. Groceries, I budgeted, it uh, looks like, I don't know, I can't read that. <laughs> it looks like $60 because I will be going out of the country um, this month for a few days. I don't feel that I will need that many groceries, also, 
I'll be staying at an all-inclusive resort, so I won't have to worry about food. Car maintenance, I did $100, and I'm really thinking about, you know, using it, like, as soon as I get paid. Um, of course, my mortgage, $750, and the car, the easy tax system, which is $40. Um, travel, I like to have spending money whenever I travel, so I like to have around $200. Um, some people may need more, some people may need less. I typically don't shop whenever I travel. I typically um, maybe like souvenirs and go out to eat, but I won't spend too much money, especially since I'm staying at an all-inclusive resort. I like to not have to worry about money whenever traveling because I remember in college, I went to London in my bank. Um, I didn't take out cash before and I didn't exchange any money at the airport or whenever we went to the place to exchange money, I just took out cash. Well, I took out cash at the ATM, well, I attempted to, and then my card was declined. So then I eventually did take out cash that my bank accepted, even though I notified them ahead of time. And that was just so frustrating to have to um, continuously pay with my card as well. So like everyone else had cash, so and we weren't allowed to split the bill. So then I would end up paying for the whole bill on my account, and then they would just give me the cash, well, however many pounds it was. So I just like to not have to worry about that whenever traveling. Um, I just want to make sure that I have enough money to, you know, just get souvenirs and maybe go out to eat. Maybe, maybe go out to eat once and maybe do some excursions. Of course, my internet is always $65. Roof savings, uh, I don't know if I'm going to save for that for this paycheck because I have a lot of traveling that I'm going to be paying for. Um, Goliath's boarding is $150. So I do book, um, I use Rover to book, do his boarding. And I haven't, well, I've had both negative and positive experiences. This time I'm gonna try a new pet sitter because the last time I had a pet sitter he was supposed to pick up Goliath and that was like such a hassle to contact him and over and over again and then yeah he just didn't want to pick him up but I mean yeah anyway <laughs> um I did budget for clothes $165 because I do want to be fresh I may or may not spend all of that money However, if I don't spend it, it's just going to go to my travel um, experiences. Oh, I heard you were. I did budget $165 because I do want to be fly whenever I go out of the country. It's a bit, whatever. Um, I, have $50. I have $50 for entertainment and that's outside of my trip. And then, budgeted a flight which is $300 for a trip that I want to take in January. It's a lot of money being spent on, it's a lot of money being spent, not saving, so <laughs> that doesn't make me very happy. Um, in the previous video, my last budget review video, if you haven't seen it, make sure to um, click on this. In my last video, I did discuss like how I'm struggling between saving and spending and I'm not, I'm not sure which one I am because I don't like to spend money, but I also don't like to save money. If I save money, I like for it to be like put away. Um, but saving money does give me security. Actually, yeah, that I probably am a saver. That's exactly what I am because I like to save money. Um, I guess I haven't been saving money but on while paying off debt, but I have been saving money um, since paying off debt. And I do feel a sense of security to know I've saved, you know, a set amount for emergency, a set amount for any expenses that I have. I don't like to, first of all, I don't like to spend money because I, I just feel like, uh, but I also don't like to, um, to see whatever money I'm saved, I save because I feel like it's a distraction and I'm like, oh, I think I'll, I have this money if I see it. So I do like for it to be out of my sight. So that's pretty much my budget. I'm I'm excited that I'll be traveling. Um, very nervous. I'm excited my passport finally came in. So my passport was stolen whenever my car got broken into. 
and I was waiting for a minute for this passport. I paid for it to be expedited, plus I paid for expedited shipping, and that was maybe seven, eight weeks ago. And I want to stress about that, like the week of getting this passport. So now I just have to focus on not getting COVID, so I'm gonna make sure to start wearing my mask again. They're not required, and oof, mask or hold, that's a whole like, conversation I don't want to have, but I just want to make sure that I do not get COVID before this trip because I could, I do not want to stay here. I want to go chill on the beach for my, a portion of my winter break. 